Scientists all around the world are racing to find a cure for the coronavirus. 70 vaccines are now in development and three have made it to the testing stage in human trials. Our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Nandy, joins us now with details. And Dr. Nandy, is there a front runner at the moment? You know, Glenda, Glenda I wouldn't say there's a, as a front runner yet, but there is one experimental vaccine that's further along than others. It's developed by CanSino Biologics and the Beijing Institute of Technology. And right now, it's in phase two. A total of three clinical trial phases set forth by the World Health Organization when it comes to human subjects. And it's to make sure that a potential vaccine is well tested and assessed for safety right before drug makers can submit an application for approval. Now, just because an experimental drug makes it to phase two doesn't, doesn't guarantee it will work. So it's good that there are many other vaccines under development. So, Doc, the other two that are in human trials are being developed by U.S. drug makers. What can you tell us about them? So, Alan, uh, Anivio uh, Pharmaceutical began its trials this week, while another company, Moderna, began its human trials uh, back in March. The vaccines are being tested first in folks who are considered low-risk individuals and overall in good health. The trial sizes are small, ranging between 40 and 45 uh, participants, the scientists will be closely monitoring the results, looking to see if their vaccines actually give a, an effective immune response in the participants, Alan. They'll also watch for side effects, important, right, and how well it's being tolerated. Then if all goes well, the vaccine will move into stage two and then stage three, which involve larger sample sizes, a most, more diverse population, and longer observation periods. So it'll be interesting. So, Doc, will the vaccine still take a year before they're on the market? So, Glenn, a year, right, seems like a long time, but in reality, these vaccines are actually moving at lightning speed. Years of animal trials are being skipped. In fact, it, it typically takes between 10 and 15 years for a vaccine to hit the market. But we're in an unprecedented time with a deadly virus that's really killed thousands of folks worldwide. So finding a vaccine is a very urgent public health priority. At the same time, we also need to make sure people are healthy and that, that, that their health and safety are never compromised. But I'm, I'm very optimistic that there are this many vaccines coming up. And once we get a good vaccine, you know, I think we'll get a better handle on this virus for sure. All right, Dr. Nandy, thank you so much. And remember, if you have a coronavirus question for the good doctor, you can email him, Dr. Nandy, at askdrnandy.com, or be sure to send it to us on Facebook or Twitter.